Union. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's stream. Hello, Neosis. First, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on being first. <laughs> How are you doing? All right, let's get some music playing and let's update my screen, shall we? Is it going to update? Whoopsie. Please update. There we go. I should have updated by now. Okay. Um, good afternoon. Oh, good. I finished Resident Evil. Oh, excellent. Oh, you guys spotted the emotes. Yay. Twitch finally approved my new emotes. Um, what do you think? What do you guys think? Do they look all right? Um, also, congratulations on finishing Resident Evil. How appropriate that... Um, I'll be following with a Resident Evil stream as well. Congratulations! How did you find it? Was was it good? Was was the ending everything you hoped for and more? <laughs> Love it. I used it earlier in another stream. I think I was first to use it. Oh my god, amazing! Thank you so much! I'm glad you got to use it in another stream. That's awesome. Oh my god. Yay! I'm glad she's there. Oh, who's there? String Player Gamer. Oh, String Player Gamer, hi. Thank you so much for subscribing. Yay, you get to use the emote too. And I'm a step closer to unlocking more emotes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you're doing okay. Your stream was wonderful, by the way, the other day. I'm really glad I got to um, first, I mean, first badge. <laughs> Yay. SusBG has joined the chat. <laughs> Thanks for hopping in. Your stream was great the other day, by the way. Oh, why have I muted that? That's weird. There we go. <laughs> right, I better get you guys up on my phone, actually, so I can actually see what I'm reading. Um, <laughs> first batch, thank you. Um, I hope you had a great stream last night. Sorry I missed it, but we meet again. <laughs> I missed your stream. <laughs> the two, the nemeses are the are in the chat today. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> fight, fight, fight. <laughs> um, currently de-dusting me amiibo. <gasps> oh my gosh, do you have like a, do you have a collection of amiibo? That's so cool. We should probably de-dust ours at some point. <laughs> Real quickly, before I get too into chat I'll just quickly uh, clarify what I'm doing if any of you don't know um, so as you all know Twitter went absolutely nuts for the tall vampire lady whose name I believe is like Lady Demetria I, do, I might be incorrect but I will look it up and learn it by the end of the stream um, and I've never played Resident Evil myself I enjoyed Neosis playing Resident Evil and I've enjoyed watching other people play it and I'm pretty sure my dad used to play it, used to enjoy it. Um, but I, for one, adore the the tall vampire lady as well. And I couldn't pass this. I couldn't pass up this 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 opportunity <laughs> to join in on the craze, on the obsession. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna read the rest of the chat that I've missed, and then I'm gonna get going. Um. I'll be streaming again a bit later just to make up for it. Only did an hour and a half stream earlier. Oh, cool. What are you going to be streaming? It was more of a side stream since I used my channel for the concert in another channel. Oh, that's so cool. I have an amiibo wall. <gasps> You'll have amiibos. Oh my gosh, yes. I left back home in the Philippines. Ah. Oh. Um, more time to hang out. I mean, to fight. Woohoo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, what time are you going live, Neosis? Um, but yeah, well, let's, let's, let's continue. I started drawing the outline earlier just to get it started, um, just to work out what I was doing. Um, but, uh, I feel pretty, pretty solid on what I want to go for now. Plus I was going to try and see if I could make this a sort of one-off stream. Because I too have on my vamp vampire makeup and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's go, let's do this. Um, uh, 
I wanted to just sort of draw her in my art style as well. Um, I've got some reference pictures and I've pretty much got what I want to do. Yeah, thank you so much for subscribing, SVG. I hope you enjoyed the emotes and feel free to use your request whenever. Um, woo, hopefully Fall Guys, I'm not sure yet. Ooh, Fall Guys would be fun. That would be awesome. Stupid question, is Fall Guys cross-platform and is Fall Guys on like all the consoles now? Um, because I don't remember. Um, yay! <laughs> Glad you like the emotes. Uh, if it's four guys, I'll be in her party and we think maybe Choco and Kevin. Oh, that's awesome. I don't think it's cross-platform yet, but they'll be adding it. Pretty much, I think. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully the outline won't take me too long and then I can get right to... Nose isn't quite right. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring up pictures on my other monitor actually, just so I can... So I have to switch apps on my phone. Uh, are we gonna learn how to make? I wanted to I wanted to draw her with like a creepily large smile as well. That felt that felt quite appropriate. Um How are we doing? Where is she? There we go. She's got a good a good Roman nose. I th think it's a Roman nose. Get it wrong, who knows? Didn't think it's cross platform. Yeah, no cross platform, but it's mainly on each one. Cool. I thought going Soon, maybe I'll join this time. <laughs> maybe they'll let you in, or maybe they won't. <gasps> Who knows? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. pop ups. I, I, guys, when Google Images used to just let you open up the picture, um, do you remember? Do you guys remember when Google Images used to just let you? click on the picture and it would make it bigger and bring it up in its own window. Do you remember that? Gosh, I miss those times. I miss those times so much. And I've just clicked on this. I've opened up an article which has brought up so many pop-ups, but the title of the article is, yes, yeah, someone figured out how tall the, the hot vampire lady from Resident Evil Village is. And should we all find out together? How tall she is? Should we all find out? Oh yeah, her name is Lady Dimitrescu. Dimitrescu? Dimitrescu? I think that's how you pronounce her name. I thought it was Demetria. I don't remember drawing wrong. Uh, oh my gosh! Just tell me how tall she is. How tall she is? Tell me. Nope. I can't find it. It's not working. Oh. Oh. She's around eight feet tall. She's been estimated to be eight feet. That's insane. <laughs> no wonder everyone on Twitter is losing their minds. <laughs> She's eight feet, guys. Um damn, yeah. <laughs> No wonder. Okay, okay. Please, images, just let me, let me. 
Okay, I'll use the system zoom. That's fine. Um... <laughs> I... Um... The nose isn't... So how's, how's everybody doing? So yeah, Amiibo. You guys were talking about Amiibos before, that's so exciting. I'm glad you got all the Zelda ones. Um, I think Pixie Wall and Neosis, you guys had all like the Zelda Amiibo. And SVG, you left your, your Amiibo collection is in the, f you left it in the Philippines, right? Um, oh, I'd miss my Amiibo collection. <laughs> if I moved away and had to leave it. <laughs> Well, Mike and I have accumulated quite, quite the quite the amiibo collection. Um, been obsessively collecting them for ages. And uh, oof, it's a it's a big it's a big collection. <laughs> So good though, I just can't resist them. I'm trying to look for a good, good reference of her uh, other hand. Um, so far, I'm not doing much work. Oh, I'm sure I found one. Um, posted a pic of Neo's picture. So, yeah, we have a lot of duplicates between us. Oh, amazing! Um, I posted a pic of Neo's Discord. Because of me and Neosis had been collecting separately before meeting each other, we have two times every Zelda one. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> I love that. You both sort of like. <laughs> I look, that must have been a wonderful bonding bonding moment for you guys. Oh nice. Uh, mine are all out of boxes and hers are still in them. I've yet to obsess over any other type of collectible. It was only ever the Amiibos. Yeah, same, honestly. I've never really, like, the Funkos and all that stuff, never really got into collecting them, but yeah. Mine are all in boxes, even the open ones. I use the undercut technique. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice wall. Our meeting was funny. Pink Neo Law. Oh no, what's. <laughs> your, your meeting was funny. How did you guys meet? Like, are you comfortable sharing that? Because that would be cool to know. Head's too big. Okay, I think I might actually become a. It's too big. Make it smaller. Make her taller. Head smaller. I'll check the chat in just a second. I'm just gonna sort the head out. Um.
okay. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Um, okay, sorry. Yeah, wanted to keep them nice before we moved in together and kept the plastic if I did open them. Oh, we were, we were both obsessed with Zelda and her brother and my friend brought her to the pub with him. And the rest is history. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. Oh, little did he know that it, it was inevitable we'd fall in love. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. Even villains have emotions too, I guess. Some of the best villains have emotions, you, you know? <laughs> Even if he is your sidekick. Since I found out how evil she is, though, I'm considering nabbing her amiibo and running. <laughs> I tried to do an impression of you last night, Neosis, but I need more research. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Good luck researching your, your impressions of everybody. <laughs> Oh, that's such a lovely meet cute. I love that. That's ever such a lovely meet cute. Okay. Um. What is she actually wearing? Let's actually wear more. But she has a big, big old flower. And some pearls and a little and her dress. I see. Okay, cool. Um it's drawing some pearls. Oops. Um need to work on that British swearing. Yes. <laughs> Ken's favourite emotion is power. <laughs> yes. However, Wind Waker Ganon, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is, did, how much do we love Ganon's existential nightmare in Wind Waker? Like, of all the Ganondorfs in the series, the one in Wind Waker feels like the most self-aware it feels like he's kind of aware that he's part of this timeline that's inevitable to be repeated and he's constantly like he's like oh he's he's just constantly like um i suppose i have to do this and i'm not entirely sure if i really want to but it feels right it's insane <laughs> it's, the questions he has it's amazing it's really so not nuanced <laughs> Um, though I was able to do an even longer chocolatey impression. Nice. <laughs> was it him going in circles in Hollow Knight? Everything about Wind Waker is amazing. Yeah, Wind Waker is wonderful. Uh, Ganon Waker is like an old and tired. Exactly! He's like an old and tired samurai. <laughs> it's such a really, it's a really good interpretation of Ganon. I love it. Um, I love how they made him like, yeah, kind of old and tired, and he, he feels like he has to, and his ending. I don't know. I mean, Wind Waker came out years ago, so his end, like, the way he died just felt so appropriate to how that character was. Oh, so good. I need to play it. Um, I've got a copy, I've got a Wind Waker Wii U sitting next to me with a copy of Wind Waker. I need to actually play it through myself. Because, um, gosh, I love that game so much. Um... <laughs> I watched um, the Game Grumps play it. That's that's how I, that's how I how I got my exposure to. That was my exposure to Wind Waker. <laughs> and then and, and then he goes right back to I'm gonna, I'm I'm an evil I'm an evil Dark Lord going to take over the world, and nothing's gonna stop me. And I love it. Um, <laughs> goes right back to that with um, Twilight Princess. Is that the next game? After Wind Waker? Yeah. Whoa. I pretty much like all of the Ganon Ganondorfs. There's not one I don't like. I like all of them. I like all the Zeldas too. Um I have Wind Waker Special Edition. Yes, same! Wind Waker Special Edition Wii U, it's so good. I literally threw my money at the screen when they announced it. Nice. <laughs> uh, we found it. We found our one in a in really good 
condition in a second-hand uh, retro game store in Canterbury. Um, now we got really lucky. The bloopers of Game Grumps Wind Waker are hilarious. Oh my gosh, yeah. Game Grumps Wind Waker was so funny. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> I wasn't the only one who thought that. I know that long SPG <laughs> picks you all as tingle. Oof, I bet that was expensive. I managed to get it at regular price. Su surprisingly, it wasn't too—it wasn't too bad actually. Like they gave us a really good deal. Um, a retail, regular retail price. No, yeah, we got it. We got it quite, quite good actually for, for what it was worth. Yeah, it was worth it though. I, I, I missed out on the Wii U stuff, and I, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Yeah, Wind Waker is a real, real special game. It's so good. I, I, I deleted this track. I'm sure I did. Just keeps coming back to haunt me. I mean, I, I really like this song, but it always catches me off guard when I'm trying to work. <laughs> I see studios and what for. Um, but I need. Um, I need music that fits with my rhythm, fits with my groove. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you managed to get it as soon as it came out. That was that was a, that was a good snatch. <laughs> Same the Wii U didn't do very well because it's a really good console, but the marketing wasn't fantastic. Because even even though like I was always like a massive Nintendo fan girl, um, I always thought that the Wii U was like a peripheral for the Wii. Like I didn't think it was its own thing literally until after it died. Um. Just because it. I mean, they called it a Wii U, like. like that was everyone's impression of it. I'm not entirely sure what the flower is meant to be, but I'm just going to do a big. big, generic. flower. Um. Like that. Um. Uh, I don't think I'll do the creases in the lineup. I'll go ahead and do that in the. Um. Final. So she's wearing gloves. Uh. I see, I see. Okay. No, I think I will do creases, it'll make this easier. Um, just a lot of suggestions of creases. Um, so it kind of plunges. Just gonna. Bunches all in here, and then it goes goes down like that. Where does that dress end? I don't know if we have a full body shot of her, but I think I will just do my, my do my thing and wing it. <laughs> Work it out as I go along. Okay, cool. Hmm. 
can bring her off a bit. Okay, what's going on? What have I missed? Um, I loved it, but it did lack games at launch. Oh, totally. Um, uh, also, you may also check out. Uh, or, oh, you, you may also check out my, my twenty-five song original album. Only a thousand percent. I've been letting Taco use it. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! That's really cool. I. Do you know what? I'm gonna grab that and add that to my. Is it on? Is it on Apple Music? Or Spotify? That's awesome. Cool. I love free music. At the beginning of the last stream, me and his sisters looked at each other and were like, It's a speaky! <laughs> Neosis implies the existence of paleosis. JD Nart implies the existence of G music. Oh my god, amazing. I'm gonna, do you know what? There's no reason why I can't do that right now, actually. Um, hopefully my computer doesn't yell at me. Um... Okay, what, what's your album called? Plug yourself. Oh yeah, feel free to do some shout outs in mods in chat. We got Neosis, we got String Day Game here. Um, Pixule is the wonderful support <laughs> of all the, all of us streamers. I don't know if anyone else is here, but feel free to say hi if you're a streamer and we can give you a shout out. Um, okay, look. Uh, you can look to you. Look, do you do you do you do you am I pronouncing that right? De De Leon artist memories on two strings. Okay, cool. Thank you. Am I pronouncing your name right? Diwa Diwa. Ah, Diwa Diwa Diwa. Cool. Awesome Diwa. I remember that. You got. Do you know what's really interesting about USB chocolate and Neosis? All of you. You've all pronounced my name correctly, like, right from the beginning. What is it about streamers and being able to pronounce my name? So that sounds really silly coming from me, because my, my name is very white, very basic. But so many people get my name wrong. And you guys have all gotten it right. <laughs> like, at first time, it's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm getting distracted. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Does it come up? Oh no, wait. Uh, not in my library. How do you search? I want to search all of the. Have they changed it? Okay, browse. Why is it that I can do it? Oh, it's not in the library. Oh, gosh. Shoot, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it wasn't it was streaming. It's like blocked it. Won't like, let me do anything. Okay, next stream. I will have it as soon as this stream is done. I'm gonna quickly write it down in my notes. I guess it's like copyright reasons that they block certain things with Apple Music? Because it's still not like me go on the browser bit. Uh, cool. After the stream is done, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna add it and then it will be available for the next stream. I'm sorry I can get it now. Um, uh, I'm Paul Pixule. I love your name, Pixule. It's so good. It sounds like Nadine. But Jay, it's Nadine or, or Nadine. Nadine or Nadine. Um, Jadine, Jadine. Um, I saw Jade, yeah. I'm a lover of puns, so I merged Paul and Pixel. I love that. Here's a direct link. Can you post the link? Oh, cool. Yeah, post the link, because Apple Music is being getting angry with me. But I will add that to my official playlist, so it, like, intermingles with all the other stuff next time. Um, I can just get up on YouTube, I suppose. Can you post a link? Um, I will DM you the link here in Twitch for reference since VOD chats are lost in oblivion. Here's Spotify direct link for each reference. Thank you. Amazing. Let's see if I can find 
thank you so much. I'm really glad you're cool with us using using your music. <laughs> That's awesome. Um. Thanks so much. Chat stuff gets lost forever. I want to play it. I'll definitely play it for next, next time. Come now. Because iTunes be. Ah, here we go. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Spotify is behaving. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's play it now. Let's do it. Let me do it. Uh, I do have Spotify Premium, so there should be no ads. Okay. Yeah, let's play some string player gamer music today. This is cool. Thank you so much. Neo's this is your name is Neo. <laughs> um, I can give you the lore about her name if you want. Yes, give me one day at a time. Yeah, give me the the lore. Give me all the lore about all of your names. <laughs> yeah, so we know, we know Pixuel. String player gamer is very is very to the point, self-explanatory. I like it. Memorable. SPG as rolls of tongue. Um, but yeah, feel free to share all the lore about all of your music while we listen to uh, all your not music, all of your names while we listen to this beautiful music by SPG. complicated which is good so I think I might just go straight into adding some colour. I'm going to change the background as well because I want it to be a bit... brother went by the name Neo online. His dad then chose the name Neo Papa. Sarah then chose the next one. Oh, that's really cute. Feel free to use it anytime you wish. You have 100,000% opposition. Oh, thank you so much. And I have fun writing. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. It's really cool. So I'll definitely add that to my playlist when my Apple Music playlist wants, wants the stream to. Oh, my counter strike group are ready. 15 minutes later than originally arranged. So I need to catch up with the bot later. Oh no worries, yeah, enjoy, enjoy your stream, sorry, enjoy your game, I hope it goes really well, I hope you win, um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy, <laughs> have fun. Yeah, thank you so much String Player Gamer, and if you guys like these tunes, go check out String Player Gamer, um, he is an amazing violinist and does really, really good content. And the streams are lovely too. The streams are wholesome and so chill. And also Neosis is super wholesome and super chill. And she just finished playing Resident Evil. Uh, what are you going to play next, Neosis? So you're going to play Fall Guys later, but are you going to be playing any like good games? Um, like, like, like story games or... Like, do you have any plans, or are you s or is it a surprise? <laughs> okay. Right, right, I'm gonna add some color now. It's a bit 
too intense. That's far too intense. Uh, is there a more subtle light brush? Yes, there is, and it's this one. Also, are you going to play Resident Evil Village when it comes out? I'm so excited. I think I might have to play Resident Evil Village. Um, no, my brother just called himself Neo Online. Uh, I know, but you are the original Neo in my point of view. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to do a poll once I've gone through my long list of games. I'm glad you think so. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, you, you to, to me, you are the, the true Neo. <laughs> There's a whole- I love that there's a whole family of Neos, that's so cute! <laughs> I, I kind of want to be a bit more orange, but it's... Uh, it seems as though... Uh, here we go. Let's make it a bit... There we go. That's better. Lightly brush it in like that. Um, I think what I might do is go a slightly different route that I normally do. I always do this. I always really like change, change up my process of every stream. Sorry everybody, I've missed some messages. Uh, giving myself a break from the scares, but consider it in the future. Yeah, definitely. Good to give yourself a break. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a while since my brother and dad played, but they were part of a clan on Wolfenstein and the territory back in the day. Oh, that's really cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it's a whole family of gamers. That's so cool. <laughs> I have a dilemma. I want to play games for fun. But for the life of me, I can't get away from the mindset of Oh, I should stream this instead, ever since I've been a Twitch regular And now I can't get myself to play anymore Oh, so you've kind of got that like That like, oh you made it, you monetized it Made it a regular streaming thing And now you're sort of fatigued from doing it like yourself like like for personal because it's like oh that kind of like reminds you of work it's like it's like with art i get that with, with like art and stuff like i really enjoy it and i love painting and i generally find it quite relaxing um but because i've made it like a part of my career and like i want to have a career out of it it can like Kind of, it can kind of take away the those benefits of it being chill and like a nice be. Um, yeah, and I, I can feel that. I yeah, I imagine you, a lot of gamers get that on like Twitch as well. I think I think with that kind of thing, I think um, it's important to like. Um, Put aside games that you never stream, I think. Like at the moment, like I want to do some games as well at some point. Um, like Crypt of the Necrodancer is something I will stream and I'll quite happily play on my own and stream. But like, I've I've started playing Skyrim recently and I've gone, no, I'm not going to stream this. this. This is my time. This is me time. So I think, I think it's good to like consciously pick out games to have in reserve. Like, like certain types of art that I do. Like there's a bunch of art that I like to do that I don't actually share at all online um and I don't I don't stream it because I know that that'll help keep how do I explain this? it'll help keep it nice and chill and like a nice hobby for me as well as being able to utilize it um as like for 
the career and stuff. Um, does that make any sense? So I don't know if that'll help, but like, yeah. Um, yeah, kind of. Do, do not be tempted to stream if you really don't have the energy. Exactly. Yeah. Like, don't force yourself to play any games. Um, but also, I feel like, oh, if I don't stream my gaming, I'm wasting engagement opportunities. Streaming is fun, but it can take away from doing anything. I'm ready to stream games anyway, but mentally, mentality is still there. It's up to you, obviously, but you, you have to know when is best to stream. If you want to incorporate it into your schedule, then do, but then any games you have between, you need to not stream. Yeah, I guess as well, yeah, like, have, like, a, if you really want to get back into games, like, have, like, have one day a week where you're like, oh, this is the game day. This is the day I'm gonna stream games, but n but like make sure you don't go over that. I get what you mean about wanting like more engagement and develop more of an audience. Um, with that as well. But yeah, it might it might help to like work it into a routine. Yeah, I have decided to stream games for the foreseeable future since 2021, but the mentality remains. Oh, I see. So you're not like you're not gonna stream games at all anymore um oh man that that, su that sucks so much i guess i guess i don't know that feels like a that feels like a sort of like just let let your body do its thing kind of thing you know maybe try, try and get into a completely fresh new hobby while you're waiting for your head to clear and separate the two. My gaming streams definitely will get lower views for the music and I'm trying to get partner first. Yeah, you'll get there. Yeah, you'll get there. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that mentality will go away now that you've like sort of, I guess, asserted with yourself that like you're not going to do it anymore. And like, yeah, I guess I guess it's just one of those give it time kind of things, and maybe it'll come back, and maybe take a long break from games will help it. Um, or like, if you find like a childhood game that you played before and play it again, or Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim is just so lovely and chill. Um, that might help. Skyrim definitely got me back into playing games regularly for just just for fun um yeah i'm sorry man i really that really that feeling really sucks i don't know about that uh svg you have a very set fan base who are loyal to you no matter what you do what evil words how dare you <laughs> Do you have a very loyal fan base? I'm sure people would love your video game streams. But if you, yeah, if you're and you're gunning for partner, oh my gosh, it's partner things. Good, good luck, good luck trying to get partner. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to say other than like just. Just follow your heart, take a break from games for a while, and then maybe you'll find your way back. Get stuck into a new hobby. Or play Skyrim. <laughs> just play Skyrim. Because <laughs> Skyrim is just like the epitome of chill. <laughs> I just feel bad that I can't watch the streams all the time due to that's what Friday mornings for. Yes, I'm so glad you're doing the Friday mornings now. They're such perfect timing because I'm usually at my desk like working then um, after my stream. So like that's that's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Right, what colours? Uh, colours, 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 colours. She's kind of like... It's difficult to tell with Resident Evil because the colours are usually just like browns. 
Also, do you have any details on your hat? Oh yeah, you have like a ribbon on it. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Mind. Change of plan. <laughs> we'll say. This album is so good, by the way, SPG. It's really cool. phone hasn't been updating the messages. Um, my new hobby at, at the moment is Twitch, yeah. Yes, I'm pleased about that. Just hope I don't have to swap days and go into the office on a Friday. Oh no! Watching streams, I mean. I will clearly watching. Um, I know, I don't think I'm not watching as well. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad, I'm so glad that's, that's a really nice hobby, watching, watching Twitch streams and stuff. I'm really, I'm really glad you've... Has that been like a lockdown thing? Or have you guys always been like into watching streams? When did you guys get into Twitch? Like, both watching streams and streaming yourselves? violin so long. Uh, what have I missed? Well, Chocolate got me in Pixel and Switch mainly. Oh, cool! It was great meeting new people on his streams. Um, I got into Twitch for real when I started streaming regularly October 2020. Oh, neat! I be it became, uh, oh, they're doing the same thing I'm doing and now I appreciate it more. Oh, wow! That's so cool! Oh, that's really nice! And you found, like, a nice little community Stuff. That's about the same time I started as well. I started in uh, October 2020, or the last week of September. Oh, what's going on? Here's this redeemed hydrate for 100 channel gems. I'm gonna do just that with my tea. Thank you very much <laughs> for keeping me hydrated. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm glad Chocolate got you in, got you guys into it, and then you found String Player Gamer, and you all had so much in common, and then like this this big community built up of everyone just going in and supporting the streams. It's so nice. I love that so much. It's really cool, guys. Oh, no, I didn't expect to find so many lovely people on here. Honestly, so many really cool people. Maybe I should do the thing where, like, yeah, I'll do her actual skin tone and then I'll put the filter all over it later. My stomach just growl. Oh my goodness, no. Please, stomach, don't do it to me. My stomach always seems to start growling when I'm streaming. How do I stop that? <laughs> um, Harley Quinn, and I met Jadine because of Choco. I mean, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cho Choco 
hopefully Chocolate pretty much introduced me to all of you guys, which was awesome. Um, Cho 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 Chocolate found me on, on Instagram and followed me, like, I think Chocolate followed me long before I started streaming when I was just posting my art on Instagram, um, which was awesome. Yeah, Chocolate just bringing everyone together. Such a cool person. <laughs> You guys are all very cool people and I hope you all, I really hope you get to partner SVG because you totally deserve it and you Neosis if that's what you're gunning for. Um, congratulations on affiliate recently by the way as well. Um, Harlequin. Yeah, my little, um, my little emo is, um, my D&D character, Columbina, and she's like a, a gnome bard but she dresses like a like a jester, and uh, Harley Quinn is a name of a stock character in the old in a performance format called Comedia dell'arte, and so is Columbina. <laughs> Columbina was also a character for Comedia dell'arte, um, which I think it, which is where the sort of modern day clown um, originated. For any of you who don't know. <laughs> um, And uh, I, I want to try and release like, a whole bunch of Columbian emotes. I've made about five so far. I made a couple on stream a few streams ago. Um, so everyone's subscriptions will help with that massively. Um, so feel free to subscribe if you want some more emotes. <laughs> anyone else out there has <laughs> um, If I get to 70, Followers, I will gift a subscription. If someone else hops on the stream and follows me, I will I will do some subscription gifting. I think that'll be cool. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll gift another one eighty, another one ninety, another one hundred. <laughs> yeah, that'll be nice. Um, cause I'm more than happy to do that. What happens if everyone in chat already has subscriptions, um, but then you gift one? Does it like, does it save for another person? Uh, oh no, am I drawing up on the same layer? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, I think we all met Jane because of Choco. It can be done to round of view. Oh neat, okay cool, just any random viewer, that's neat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chocolate, Chocolate introduced me to everybody. Which was real nice of, nice of him. <laughs> I've completely lost track of how time was up. Oh neat, okay. It's only five minutes to five, we're doing well. Just get the base colored in. if you wanted to gift someone specific oh, okay cool yeah I wasn't sure if it would do the thing where like it would tag on because I know you can like buy subscriptions in advance I think um yeah no I'll remember that yeah if, if someone hops in and drops me a follow I will um I will gift a subscription because <laughs> I'm I'm at 69 already nice <laughs> And thank you all so much for your lovely support. I had no idea I'd get this far uh, so quickly. I kind of anticipated I'd be streaming into the void for a few years, but this has been lovely. <laughs> Meeting all of you and all of you being regulars is insane. Like, 
That's really nice of you all to be here. Okay. I'm glad her color scheme is quite basic. Um. That makes it easy to work with. Her hair is a dark brown or a black, I guess. Um, you're all very lovely people. Um, I mean, if someone gif got gifted a sub and it expires, they will get notified. And if they want to continue it, the resub notification will say user one is continuing again. Yes. Yeah, I. I remember that. I'm glad I managed to get a gift for your channel, SVG. <laughs> I'm glad I could do emotes. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it's cool because I've seen as well, you can buy like in advance as well. Um, I've seen that you can like. Or, like. You can just subscribe to them for the month, but if you want to, you can buy like three months worth of subscription ahead of time. Which is pretty neat. A pretty neat feature. And it's good that it doesn't automatically renew as well. <laughs> Otherwise, that would be so difficult to keep track of all the subscriptions to all the different channels. the hair forward in front of the hat. There we go. Um, yeah, the subscription thing is such a neat feature. Um, thank you, thank you all for subscribe for subscribing. I really appreciate that. <laughs> there's no, there's no pressure to continue to do so. <laughs> Um, you can do, do whatever you fancy. Um, I probably will make her eyebrows a bit less angry um, at some point, but not yet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move that away for a second. Cool. her earrings too. I don't know what colour the clasps are, so I'm gonna make them sort of silver. I think that'll be fine. Um, Out of her mouth. Oh, I forgot drawing her teeth. Wow, okay, the, the, the main feature of vampire I totally forgot existed. Um, that is her fangs. So we'll draw those in in a second. Um, <laughs> looks quite funny. Um, okay, let's draw in her fangs as well. <laughs> uh, draw on a separate layer for now sorry everybody fangs do help a vampire unless they hide it that is true i don't know does she have obvious fangs she doesn't really actually now that i look at the 
Have we all just assumed she is a vampire? Is she actually a vampire? Well, I guess- oh no, she is. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna give her quite, quite dramatic ones. Because why not? <laughs> There we go. Fangs generally do the vampire, you're right. <laughs> oh gosh, what a mess. I'll clean that up. I'll clean that up later. <laughs> okay. Uh Um... I'm gonna make the outline a little bit less obvious. Um... I think I will hide it actually because the holes are quite. Uh, just maybe a little, little bit. Just so it helps. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yep. Yes. Okay. Then we go up here. And then. And the small ones. Cool. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm surprised vampires even exist in uh, Resident Evil, considering they went super weird with bug human combo things. Well, how, oh, have they not? I guess they haven't done vampire thing before. I mean, are they sort of like, do they do like a different type of monster with every game? Bug human like things sound pretty creepy. Did anyone see the Bernie Sanders mod in one of the Resident Evil games? <laughs> now that, that was a, that was a mod, that was a, <laughs> we were scary mod. Monster, Bernie Saunders. <laughs> Man who truly couldn't hurt a fly, even if he wanted to. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna make the hat actually grey. There we go. Bernie Saunders mods in video games has been wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I guess with the new vampires, I guess they just want to keep 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 everyone on their toes, and they've made like what this is their seventh game, eighth game. It's Resident Evil Seven, so I guess got to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> new monsters. Um. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Cool. It helps clean up the block colour a lot better. Um, I think it would help a lot if I actually made my block colour stage cleaner. Um, so we're gonna. Uh, let's colour in our hands. Um, and then we'll. This album slaps. It is so good. Um, keep churning out games like they did with the films. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you, you guys watch the films? I think I've seen I've seen one of them. As some reason they put in this like lady with the red dress. Am I remembering that correctly? And she's not even like a character in the games. I don't know if I'm remembering the correct thing. Okay. Um Let's see her claw hands look like that would hurt so much. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, I'll check the chat in a second, guys. Sorry. Um, I saw only the first one on purpose. No, it's the sequels on a bus ride. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen the films many years. Oh, yes, I've seen the films many years ago. Yeah, the sequel was about two or three, or went a bit downhill. All I want is a film focused on Jill Valentine. It'd be good if they did the films based on the game and stuff. Yeah, that would be good if they actually based it on the contents of the games. <laughs> sort of trying to Hollywood, Hollywoodize everything, every video game movie ever. Oh, I just suddenly got chills. Um, why am I cold? Um, hang on, I need to look. Put my on my shoulders because I'm cold. God, I'm chilly. I'm a bit chilly. Okay, I'll go. Let me just colour in the cigarette holder. Um, it's probably not. <laughs> Resident Evil set in like a future, or is it like a present day thing? I'm not even sure if she should be holding a cigarette holder, but oh well, I, it feels like it would suit her. <laughs> I just get the feeling that... Um... Okay. 
Let's group you all together. Let's group you all together. Like that. Make it. Whoa. Make it smaller. There we go. Alright, what have I missed? Sorry, Drum. Um, I begin. The game is set in the present day. It was originally released in 1998. Oh, okay, cool. I'm not sure on the films, but I think they were set in the present day as well. Alright, cool. Makes sense. I wasn't sure it was like future. In the future or present day. But yeah, no, it makes sense. <laughs> um. Let's uh, tidy it up. Let's tidy up the block colours. me. It's fine. Let's sharpen up the teeth as well. I want to try and finish this one today on stream. It's like a little one-off before the new month kicks in. Um, so I'm gonna try my best. Ooh, whoops. at all. Probably should do that. <laughs> Move that out of the group. I eventually want to merge all the colours together. Um, okay. Oh yeah, I want to move... Where's the... Uh, yeah, move that out of the group too. There we go. Um, ooh. Yeah, eyes, eyes and, yeah, face, a face. Oh my gosh, characters have faces? <laughs> <laughs> completely forgot that I had teeth in her eyes. No, it's just an abstract piece with no, with absolutely zero facial features except a nose. And a suggestion of mouth. <laughs> um, strengths off a bit. Um, coming along great so far. Thank you so much. I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Yellow eyes is so scary, but my hell yeah, hell yes, and we love it. <laughs> I love the idea that you said it in like the yellow eyes is so. Skyrim vampire, like. <laughs> oh no, am I drawing on the same layer? No, not. Okay. Um, Camilla, which I love, yeah. But since Oblivion was my first, I'm more toward Oblivion. Oh, cool! Oblivion was your first. I watched. I used to watch a friend play Oblivion um, when I was at school, and then I've only recently just started playing Skyrim myself. Oblivion looked amazing as well. Like it all looked so good.
Okay. I thought that was positioned correctly, yeah. I think so. Um, is there anything else essential that I need to... Gonna fix up this layer as well real quick. Stewart and Patch. Excuse me, Patrick Stewart and Sean. Sean Sh are the best actors for this character. <gasps> I forgot they were in it. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I can't believe they got Patrick Stewart, actual Patrick Stewart, actual Dean Bean <laughs> for this. Actual Sean Bean and actual Patrick Stewart for for Oblivion. That's amazing. That is incredible. Honestly, did they? Was there anyone notable in Skyrim? Because I don't really recognise anyone's voices, or did they sort of get like. up and coming voice actors, or. Oh my gosh, um, oh, of course, spoiler alert. <laughs> oh my gosh, who would have thought that Sean Bean's character dies? I don't think it's much of a story Sean Bean does or anything, <laughs> Max von Sydow played Esben. Oh yeah, that's Max von Sydow. Yes. Um, of course. Oh, that's awesome. Christopher Plummer plays- I don't know who Christopher Plummer is. Christopher Plummer. Plummer. I'm cold guys, I'm so sorry, I'm just gonna quickly grab a- I don't have a cardigan on my chest, I'm just gonna quickly grab one, I'll be- Do you know what, I'm gonna take real quick- Hang on a sec- no 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold up a second. Okay. Real quick. I'm going to- Hold up just one second. Um oh, oops. Okay. Can I clipping mask a whole group yet? Is that a thing? Oh, oh I can't. Oh that's so annoying. Procreate, please let me clipping mask a whole group. I'd appreciate that. Thank you.
Uh, no more. Just keep it in one of these angry bastards. Okay, um... If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna uh, just run off, grab a cardigan, and I'm gonna play a little advert, if that's okay with you guys. Um, and then keep her here like this, for when anyone else here pops in. Um, oh wait, no. Uh... No, that's, um, Bill Nye. Yeah, Bill Nye. Uh, damn, didn't realise he was in Oblivion. It was Bill Nye. Yeah, Bill Nye. Not the science guy. <laughs> yeah, see the bit. No, <laughs> the actor guy, not the science guy. Okay. Yes, I will leave the music playing and I will be right back and I'm going to play a quick advert. Um, so thank you guys so much for, 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 for being so lovely and wonderful and I'll see you shortly and I'm just trying to figure out how to play an advert again. Oh boy, here we go. Let's go.
Okay, I'm back. I have... My vampire status is now gone because I'm wearing a cardigan. That just... No matter what I'm wearing, just makes my outfit look too cute. <laughs> and not in any way cold or threatening. <laughs> right. Right. Um, did I tell Facebook? Am I lying? I think I did. I'm gonna real quickly show Facebook what's happening. We are live. Drawing the tall, <laughs> uh, tall vampire lady. Everyone is obsessed with. <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash JD art. Take a quick picture. Nice. Cool. Nice. Right, back to it. Okay, definitely. <laughs> right, let's let's uh, let's get back to it, ladies and gents, and all those who lieth betwixt. Go ahead and hello again. Hi, did I miss anything while I was gone? <laughs> Great. Might as well just draw another layer to be honest. I don't really need to click and mask that. There we go. Um Forty three, sixty one, sixty. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's that's pretty neat. That's all good stuff. That the lighting outline it works so well even as a standalone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just like as its own sort of silhouette, like. Um. Um, for some poster or book cover, yeah. yeah. No, sort of very minimal book designs on book covers and posters is very in at the moment, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's something about adding some rim lighting that just brings stuff to life. Oh, who's there? Who was that? Um, oh wow, hello! <laughs> Hi everybody! This is so exciting. Hi, d -Rag Punks. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the raid, Emerald Heart. I really appreciate that. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you for following me, Emerald Heart. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh my gosh, do we have 70 followers now? That's so exciting. Hi, everyone. Hi. Thank you all so much for hopping in. Oh, I did say I would do, I would gift some, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Um, and San, Salandaro Ryu, uh, thank you for following me as well. <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm doing really good, thank you. I'm having lots of fun drawing um, everyone's favorite vampire at the moment. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for hopping in. Oh my gosh. d rad run. Oh, thank you! <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation. You are the best, honestly. <laughs> You're so lovely. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. I'm going. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I did say earlier in the stream I would have a subscription. Um, for each And I'm going to do that right now. Uh, we're drawing Tall Lamp by Lady from Resident Evil 
good. Because <laughs> this put the whole on that bad wagon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everyone um, Thank you all so much. The very things we've been out right. Awesome. That's really cool. Come to the right place. <laughs> I love drawing. Super, uh, I love drawing fantasy and supernatural things. Um, I'll show you the outline. There's the outline so far. Um, gonna try and get this finished. Um, how do I? Okay. How do I gift a sub? Let's have a look. Should be able to do it on the stream manager. Oh my gosh. Hi, new sisters. Oh my gosh. This is wonderful. Thank you so much for reading me. Okay, 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 come on. Show me. Show me how to do the thing. Uh, raid channel. No. <laughs> um, hi guys. How's your stream? Right, I'm gonna do a little playback for everyone that's just hopped in while I work out how to do a uh, we'll do the time lapse replay, while I work out the uh, the sub gifting um, for everyone who's just hopped in. Um, I love the drawing. Thank you so much. I love everything supernatural. Basically, magic is my life. Excellent. Magic is also my life. We have so much in common. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Looking good so far. Thank you. If someone in chat, you can click their name. Can I do? A random button. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm going to. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me see. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna do it randomly. So. You can all watch the replay while I work out how to. And leave the description. Um, I'm gonna gift. Uh, I'm gonna gift one. I'll do one for every ten. Okay, well, let me do it. Yes, I would like to give them. Oh no! Oh gosh, I thought it crashed for a second. Uh, again? How is everybody doing? Anyways, how did your stream go? Um, Emerald Heart, what kind of stuff do you stream? Um, someone in the chat, in chat, click name, gift sub, amazing, thank you. So, Emerald Heart, what do you stream? What's your, what's your, what's your thing? What's your vibe? What's your, what's your fetch? Uh, confirm, continue. Come on, PayPal, do your thing. <laughs> confirm fetches. Before the time lapse replay ends, I would like to confirm the purchase, please. Purchase successful. Ah, uh -huh. give you tier one subscription. Hey, who who got the subscription? Yay! Congratulations, Emerald Hearts, <laughs> for getting the subscription. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Woohoo! Yay! Thanks, guys. You can use my cute new emotes now. <laughs> Oh, thank you, D Rad Punks. Thank you so much for recommending me. That was so kind of you, honestly. <laughs> You're so lovely. I'm feeling that biscuit energy radiating from you. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh, and we're done. Cool. Let's let's keep drawing. Let's keep let's let's uh, let's show you what's what's going down. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. Right. Oh, who else? Oh, and thank you so thank you Stuboy236 for following me as well. Um, appreciate that very much. Thank you. <laughs> so exciting. Right. Um I'm sorry everybody. Um I'm just like when a raid happens, I'm like, oh, oh, what do I do? What is what do I do? <laughs> Biscuit energy. Oh, thank you so much. Biscuit energy for life. Heck yeah. Heck yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, whoops. Brush is too big. 
Oh my gosh, thank you all so much. Oh, thanks for the emotes. Oh my gosh, how do I stream again? What do I do? What do I say? <laughs> totally forgotten what to do or say. Um, <laughs> well, I hope you're all ha having a lovely day. Um, I really do. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Uh, it was really nice and relaxing today. Lots of good, good friends came by with lots of good, good conversations. I got raided myself, which was amazing. D-Rad bought my merch and I got bits and yeah, amazing. Oh, oh that's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> what a good stream. Um, seriously, I'm buying you all American biscuits when I meet you all at Video Game Con. Oh my god, I can't wait. That would be amazing. <laughs> biscuits for everyone. I usually focus on retro video gaming, but sometimes I play other games like today where I play strategy Valley for three hours. Oh, I love Stardew Valley. Oh, we love art. Um, I can't draw, but I'm a musician. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Stardew Valley is great. Um, how about the biscuit cookie f tin container that fooled you? It was sewing materials all along. Oh no. <laughs> Recent game that looks um um awesomely retro. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, Stardew Valley is lovely. What I love retro gaming streamers. That's so cool. I love it when people bring back games for everyone to to enjoy. Like especially for people who can't obtain them anymore. Um, it's really nice to vicariously enjoy retro games for other people in that way. Um, oh, bless you guys. Ooh, <laughs> gave an idea. GPS. Is that meant to be SPG, or did you have an idea for a new GPS system? <laughs> um. <laughs> right, let's draw her nose in, shall we? Her little nosey. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I always get a bit nervous when <laughs> people do raids. I'm like, ah, this is so cool, but what do I do? What do, I do? <laughs> okay, let's uh, just get in. Some shadows. Hmm. What happens if I. Yeah, I think I might go a bit darker with the shadows, actually. Um, so we want to do. Soft light, and then let's just draw in. Oh, by the way, for anyone who's just hopping in, the music I'm playing is by a string player gamer. Um, and the song and the album is called um, Memories on Two Strings. Um, so I definitely recommend checking that out. It's on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, <laughs> it always happens at my grandma's. GS is also a ring name. <laughs> Love that. So I like saying those backwards. Oh, I love that turkey. I like saying those backwards. Is his name reverse? Lol. I love that. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys are so lovely. Oh my gosh. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Green player streamer. <laughs> That's so good. I love that. <laughs> right, um, let's bring that, bring that down a little bit so I can see what's going on behind the outline. Um, yeah. Uh, what should I do? Oh yeah, feel free to do some shout outs if there are any mods in the chat. Uh, Neosis, feel free to do a shout out for um, Emerald. Oh my goodness, I'm forgetting your name, I'm so sorry. Emerald Heart, and any other streamers in the chat, feel free to make yourselves known and we'll do you a little shout out. So everyone can click the link and check you out. And D Punks, of course. And D Punks has merch now. And. Emerald 
Heart also has merch. Check it out. And SPG, do you have merch? Or am I being a ding dong? Let me know. Just drop it. Drop it all in the chat. Hey, I'm gonna go check. Gonna go have check. Um, yeah, check out all these wonderful lovelies. Um, also, have we had a shout out for a neurosis? Bless you for doing all the shout outs, but I'm gonna shout you, you out as well because neurosis finished um, playing playing uh, Resident Evil. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, yay! I love all the, <laughs> love all the love going on in the chat. It's wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah. Neosis just recently finished streaming Resident Evil, which is so, which was completely coincidental that I'd be drawing a Resident Evil character today. Um, but a fun, a fun coincidence nonetheless. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of lots of wonderful streamers you should go check out. Lots of really lovely content, really lovely people. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, cool. And yeah, there's no pressure to there's no pressure to chat or stick around. You're free to lurk. Um, this is a nice come space you do you guys do you boo multiple boos <laughs> uh, I just think my name's been highlighted in the chat uh, last night I gave Betty White from the Golden Girls a shout out um, Betty White from the Golden <laughs> nice <laughs> coincidence shout out Betty White um, <laughs> Um, from the Golden Girls, shout out. Uh, you must have been. Go check out Fabulous Betty White. Um, they're really up to some amazing unknown Twitch channel stuff. So. <laughs> nice, how come, how come Betty White got a shout out? <laughs> what did I miss? Good old Betty White, turned 99 years old recently. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course she did. Oh, ha yeah. Happy birthday, Betty White. She should totally be a Twitch streamer. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I think, uh... Oh, thanks for the... Oh, thank you! <laughs> thanks for the bits! <laughs> thank you so much! I really appreciate that, thank you! Oh, amazing! <laughs> Yay, thank you! <laughs> She's literally older than Slice Bread. Oh my god, literally! Someone was talking about Golden Girls on my channel last night. No, I can't follow you, why? Disappointed. Oh, I know. She needs to make a Twitch channel. She's she's missing she's missing a beat there. <laughs> yeah, Betty White's cool. We like Betty White. <laughs> Betty White seems like a very cool person. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad she got a shout out. Oh yeah, sorry sorry guys. Um, only mom. Bots can do can do shout outs on my channel. Um, that's probably why it wasn't working for some of you. <laughs> I do apologise for that. Okay, gonna try and bring her to life a bit more. Somehow, in some way, well, I mean, she's dead. She's a vampire, but but still, I gotta. Got I'm sure you guys know what I mean by bringing her to life, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have fun here. <laughs> um, Golden Girls. I mean, no, I can't follow my way. I mean, AOC got 250k views. 
She spent the first hour of stream adjusting her camera. I think they were like would sky would skyrocket views. Damn, yeah. I mean, yeah, if AOC can get loads of views. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure Betty White can too. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love that a AOC jumped onto Twitch. That was really cool. Um, was that, was that when H Bomber guy did, was she already on Twitch before H Bomber guy did his big stream? I can't remember. Um, or if she did like for that? I'm probably being really dumb. Um, oh, this album is so nice, honestly. <laughs> up afterwards. Down like this. Uh, how are we doing? Sorry, everyone. Uh, what? Um, we gonna go fix some food? All right, cool. Enjoy, enjoy your food. <laughs> um, enjoy your dinner. Um, enjoy. Your... Yeah, enjoy your dinner, guys. Have have a, have a lovely scrummy tea. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you for joining me guys. Um What were we talking about before? What's um What video games have everyone been playing recently? What's what's on everyone's gaming list at this moment? Uh Vampire Lady looks like she's about to have have a snack herself. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely she is. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do it as if she's already had a snack. Okay, how is Twitch with well I mean Twitch can stream Resident Evil. I'm sure it would be fine if I draw things, right? Oh wait, no. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, okay. I think I'll leave that to last. I'll figure that out last, because I was debating whether she was about to have a snack, or she's already had a snack, and she's kind of, like, got blood everywhere, but I don't know. I will work that one out. Um, once I finish the rest of the piece. Um, oh yeah, I've totally forgot to mention on this entire stream actually. Um, Vampire Lady looks like only Genshin Impact since it's easily accessible. Oh, is that any 
good. Is it against Shin Impact like good? It looks it looks pretty fun actually. <laughs> not sure what main picks we will have for dinner and not sure what game we're gonna play next. Yeah, you still gotta work that one out. Mm, I don't know what I'm having for dinner. We've got pizza. We might have pizza. Mm, pizza sounds real good. I think we might have pizza tonight. Um if I could eat pizza for every night, I just would. Why is pizza just so good though? Just ev just everything about pizza fills me with joy. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention the entire stream. I've entered the 3D modeling competition, and occasionally Nightbot will spring up a little notification about that. Uh, and the voting process is open, um, and it should link you directly to my piece. And, and uh, if you guys have time, if you could spend a minute, appreciate. Or if you like, you know, if you like the piece. Um, feel free to drop me a vote um, when Nightbot springs around with the link again. I completely forgot to mention it this whole time. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's the thing <laughs> that's been going on with me. Um, so yeah. Mission Impact does look really good, I've been tempted, but like, mobile game, game as soon as- because it's a mobile game, right? Um, as soon as I- I know, as soon as I try it, I'll just suck to it. As long as it, pizza is just awesome, so simple and tasty, right? Yeah, agreed with the pineapple. No pineapple, then it's perfect. <laughs> I've been minimizing. Um, I've been minimizing against an impact in my head, being just another free to play little box heavy game. Then I tried it and listened to the music. Oh no! And that's what got you in. <laughs> no. <laughs> GPS. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> mobile, mobile games. Oh my gosh. I Has anyone else been like hooked into to any mobile games? I got hooked into Candy Crush when I was a lot younger. And I think my mum still plays it. Um... Occasionally, quite a few of my family members still play Candy Crush, um, and they are like at ridiculous levels. <laughs> um, I got really into Infinity Blade. Oh, guys, Infinity Blade is so good, and you can't get it anymore because. Oh my gosh! Sorry, I thought I had voices, and it's coming from the song. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, who's talking to me through my headset? This is the song. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do apologize for being ever so slightly startled. <laughs> It's really good. Um, I think it was because it was they were talking so deeply, and I was like, "Have I got on like another media player going on?" Um, it's always the music, yeah. It's always the music. But I'm glad to say I haven't spent a nickel in the game. Well done, very good. <laughs> I have a very bad past relationship with people. Kind of, oh no! Oh my god, I was from my mobile a channel. Love. I got lulled almost spent. Oh my gosh! Oh, bless you! 
Oh, 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 you poor thing. Yeah, I... I've experienced... I myself haven't been caught up in that, but... I was briefly dating someone who was. Um, and it's horrible. It, it's really horrible how games like that can really get you. And uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm glad you were able to get out of that. I really am. It's a horrible, horrible thing to get sucked up into. Um, Pokemon Go was a daily game for. Oh, yeah, Pokemon Go was great. Um, Pixel, but since COVID, it's just gone well. Yeah, yeah. I ask myself that every day. Damn, that's a lot of money. It was 2018. That's how whole idea of the game, though, unfortunately. Game has no idea how the customers in. That was just as a court attention. Oh, I'm genuinely like, I don't sound patronizing, but like, I'm really glad that you've been able to enjoy Genshin and not gotten like, like into it. Um, it's actually horrible and predatory um, the way the video game industry monetizes its games. Um, and I'm so sorry that you got caught up in that. That really sucks. And I'm, I'm really pleased that you managed to get out of it. Um, yeah. I think they call them like whales. Like the game industry targets like whales. Um, to get people to like buy a bunch of stuff in their games and pressure them um, into buying things. It's horrible. Um, yeah, gosh, I really wish they'd stop. And now, and now a bunch of game places are like, um, ah, oh, as a sling point, they'll be like, there's no loot boxes in our game. How great are we? And I'm like, that's, that's not a, that, that sh shouldn't be a selling point. Like, you shouldn't be going, yeah, pat us on the back, we don't have loot boxes. Like, th they're horrible and predatory. <laughs> oh man, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. <sighs> the game, video game industry is so fun. <laughs> oh no, I'm looking for a job. Oh. <laughs> please, please ignore all of my statements. Hi, me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Lol. <laughs> That's the trouble with streaming. I'm like looking for work and I'm trying to get work in like film or video games. And then I'll start right. Yeah. <laughs> like, which does got. Yeah, it can put spiral badly sometimes. Yeah. It really can. Game industry is, is, is a nasty, nasty. Gambling is a nasty, nasty thing. And yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to get work and then I'll be on stream like, oh yeah, the problem with Disney <laughs> Like, no, wait, I need to say only good things about Disney because I need a job <laughs> Oh well, it's fine <laughs> I'm sure I'll be okay <laughs> Um it's good, it's good to be honest. I don't want to just be like a yes person, you know? I don't want to be like, yeah, everything is good and fine and there's nothing wrong with anything ever. Um. <laughs> and listen, if, if there's a cool company out there that is cool, then they'll, they'll hire me, you know? They'll be like, yeah. Get your criticisms and that's fine. You're allowed, you're a human being being you're allowed to criticize things and I'm just digging myself a hole even deeper oh my gosh <laughs> as a consideration it was mostly tax refunds so um yeah it didn't make it better at all nowadays though all my extra money has been deservedly being given to streamers on twitch instead and this time it's put to better use because I know it helps actual people oh that's wonderful I'm so glad good for you that's really cool I hope I don't have patronizing, but that's, that's awesome. Um, and you should be like super proud of yourself for that, like genuinely. That's a really cool thing to do. Yeah, it's really cool. I hope, I hope to one day be also able to give back 
in that way. <laughs> um, hopefully, if if the if if I can find a graduate, up, I will be able to give back to all of you lovely, generous people. <laughs> You've all been so wonderful and supportive, and it's been it's been amazing. Um, Jim Sterling, um, Jim Stephanie Sterling, who's a really cool YouTuber. Did a video, did a really good video a few years ago, um, talking about like, like the stories of people, um, like telling stories about people who got sucked into like the loot boxes and stuff. And Jim is extremely vocal about about all of that, and it's wonderful. You definitely, definitely check him out. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he has a Twitch channel. Sorry, they have a Twitch. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. They have a Twitch channel. Um, they are non-binary, they have a Twitch channel, and they are really good and awesome and fun and just an amazing video game activist. I'm on a streak, yeah, yeah same, what's the streak? Switching <laughs> many things. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Many, many things. Four years, no soda, fizzy drink, six months, no alcohol, two years, no look what. Yeah, I follow Jim's YouTube. Yes! Yeah, Jim's great. Um, I don't know if I'm spelling the name right. Uh, S I. Um, four years on fizzy. That's amazing. Well done. That's a, that's incredible. Four years no fizzy drinks, six months no alcohol, and what was it? Two years no loot box spending. Dude, that's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, man. That's like a lot of like, that's a lot of stuff right there. Um, that's really cool. No, congratulations, that's awesome. Um, how have you been finding the alcohol out of curiosity? And no fizzy drinks. How did you find the, like, cutting back the fizzy drinks and no alcohol? Like, how, how did that go for you? If you don't mind sharing, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to talk about anything you don't want to talk about on here. But um, if you're willing to share, it'd be really cool. I, I stopped drinking. And that was quite easy for me because I don't really do much drinking anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped drinking like three or four years ago. Um, <sighs> what time is it as well? Okay, cool. So we've got one hour left. Nice. I have followed Jim's YouTube. I love talking about it. Oh, cool. I'm so glad. The most obvious benefit is weight loss. 198 pounds. Now 100. Whoa. That's. Whoa. Damn. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. No, it's amazing. The fizzy drinks and um, alcohol make a massive difference. This country will be like, oh, let's increase tax on sugar because obesity but we're not going to do anything about alcohol because the part of parliament have about 58 bars <laughs> and they're all <laughs> but no um, alcohol and fizzy drinks that makes a massive difference yeah, congratulations I also feel very in control of everything my body my mind yeah, that's really cool. That's an amazing feat, honestly.
and you know obviously like to anyone listening like weight loss isn't isn't the epitome of health if that's not if that's not something that's right for you then um that's not right for you but like that's an amazing achievement you know um if that's what you needed for your body and that's what you wanted that's incredible yeah no you should be so proud of that that's incredible um Um, yeah, our government's like, sugar tax, sugar tax, sugar tax, and I'm like, uh, are you going to do anything about the, the alcohol consumption in this country? And they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, my nemesis. <laughs> See, I'm nice sometimes, or maybe I'm just making you think that. I feel younger and very much in my brain. That's awesome. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's insanely cool. Congratulations. Um. You know what I need to do is stop, stop doom scrolling. That's what I need to try and try work on as well. And that has inspired me to try much harder <laughs> to work on my doom scrolling habits. <laughs> No, congratulations, man. Oh gosh, what's going on? Yes, this redeemed stretch. Yes, I'm gonna do the stretch. Um, there's a certain level of fist pump moments. Yes, 40 years old now, but I still feel 18. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh my gosh, you're 40. Do a stretch. Oh, that was a good stretch. Thank you, Neosis. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. You were 40? Oh my goodness. Whoa, dude. I thought you were like so much younger. And it's the little things as well. Like, like you said, you like, by the sounds of it, you didn't do any like crazy diets or anything. Um, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. But like, it, it, from what you've said, it sounds like you literally just went, okay, no alcohol, no fizzy drinks. Like, simple. Does, right? <laughs> it really is the simple things that can that, that can you feel so much better in your in your own skin. It doesn't necessarily have to be a complicated. It doesn't have to be a complicated diet cleanse or anything. It can just be just a little little change in your lifestyle. That is very cool. Okay, her creases in her dress are quite... quite involved, so... It's probably gonna take a bit longer than... initially anticipated. I'm sure we'll get it. I'll just, just do the general shooting first. Um, it's the hair. And energy for your streams, absolutely. I'm excited for the necklace and rose details. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm excited too. <laughs> what I'll probably do, I might have to do, depending on how the next hour goes, I might have to do that next stream. Um, but I imagine this will only take two streams maximum.
Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to go a bit more nuts with the detailing. That'll be really fun. Ah, uh, but I am also nervous. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna quickly keep going with this. So a little healthy level of anxiety. <laughs> okay. going just all over the shop at the moment like uh, spotting little things in different areas Okay, how are we doing everybody? So, <sighs> okay, hydrate. All right. Okay. Yes, yeah. so let's, let's keep going with the basic chain details for now. And then we will, uh, Hopefully we'll have time to start. Oh yeah, I'm sure we will. We'll have time to start the sort of rest of the highlights, um, and then we'll be able to do the proper detailing, which will be fun. <laughs> It'll be very very fun. Okay, so I've made this a bit too straight, I think. Maybe bring it out a little bit like that, and then bring it out. Ah, what a mess, what a mess, guys. <laughs> bring it in like this, and then bring it out again, like that. Bring it here. And then have this come out here too, like that. Cool. She's coming together, everybody. So, find your album. Yes, it is. It's excellent. Oh, lovely. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this is going. This is going all right. We're doing. We're doing. We're doing good, guys. We're doing. It's fine. Everything's good. <laughs> it's fine. Okay.
Okay, I will do the detailing properly on creases next time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Neosis. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to unlock the next emote. Um, I wonder which one. Which one should I do? Should I do? So I've got so far. I've done about five. I've got nine that I definitely want to do for Columbina's set. Um, should I do? Hmm. Try and lock. Maybe I should do wink. I think I'll unlock the wink one, or the laughing one, or I think the laughing one would be good. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the laughing one. That feels appropriate for like a for for like a second emote. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get that in a few months. It'll be really, really exciting. <laughs> Okay. Um, laughing is always a good one to have. Yeah. Now we'll bring in. We'll definitely bring in laughing next time. Who is there? Who is this? Oh, hello! Hey, is it? Hey, Aiden, how are you doing? Or Zayden? I'm sorry if I butchered that. How are you doing? Welcome! Welcome to the stream! <laughs> We're drawing Tall Vampire Lady from... The Tall Vampire Lady from Resident Evil Village. <laughs> couldn't resist. <laughs> You're not with me, you. And we're listening to a String Player Gamers uh, album in the background and it's very, very good. <laughs> uh, well, funny story, I broke my ankle yesterday. Oh no! Um, oh no! How? Oh gosh, how? How? You poor thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for giggling as well. Sorry. Oh my gosh, that was inappropriate. Um, I'm, I'm a nervous, I'm a nervous laughter, uh, la laughter. Um, are you, are you okay? Are you, how are you feeling? Oh my gosh. You poor thing. Um, how are you feeling? Oh my gosh. And it says, I was walking a muddy path lol. I heard a <sighs> Oh my gosh, you poor thing! I'm so sorry! Are you all are you all at like at home? Are you all bandaged up? Are you resting? You poor thing, I'm sorry. How long is that gonna take to fix? I don't really know with broken ankles. I I'm, I'm not really well acquainted with broken bones. I I'm not a very adventurous person. Oh, you poor thing. I hope, um, I hope you feel better very soon. I don't know how long it takes to heal, but I hope it's soon. You poor thing. Um, heard the crack. It sounded like a thick, a thick twig break. Apparently, yeah, at home with the bandage cast at the moment. It's gonna be a good year getting the bad stuff out the way early. Oh my gosh! I wish you a safe and speedy recovery, my friend. I am so sorry that happened. Um, that is not a fun. That is not a fun thing to end January on. <laughs> you poor thing. 
Um, gosh. Yeah, and I hope you're getting lots of rest. And you have people to to bring you things. <laughs> to pre people to look after you and pamper you for a bit. It's a broken if you have a broken angle, you deserve to be looked after. Has anyone else ever broken a bone or anything? Has anyone else had that experience? Can anyone else truly empathise with the broken ankle? Because, I don't know, I don't know how, I'm a very clumsy per- I'm a very, very clumsy person. Um, but somehow I've managed to avoid breaking a single one of my bones. Apart from maybe my pinky toe or something. <laughs> um... It's truly a miracle how I've not managed to break a bone. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, I'm a little bit bored of doing the shadows now, so I'm gonna go in the rough shadows. Now I'm gonna go in and do the rough highlights, uh, which means hide that layer, select, hide, uh, new layer on top. Neo Sis and Pixel have offered some help here and now, which is nice of them. Oh, that's lovely. And yeah, Neo Sis and I uh, will never forget that sound. Oh no. I, Touch would have never broken anything either. Oh, bless you. Oh, so were you guys out walking together? Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, Touch would, I hope I haven't jinxed anything. Uh, should I use the. Yeah, I think I should. Yeah, I'll use the original base colours. Let's take it slow, so we don't know how. Whipped cream snow and a smile for now. It's a fine day to be with you. 
makes me wonder if Earth is flat. Watch the birds fly high and dry. It's a fun day being with you. Uh, I told her to never break up or any that. Nah, it was my other friend, and he told them some more details about. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, got you. <laughs> he went into more detail. Got you. Sorry. It's. I'm still learning about like who knows who in real life and who's <laughs> who's met who's met the other one on stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. This song is lovely. I'm sorry, string player gamer. I hope you don't feel like I'm like, critiquing this, but I'm just like, <laughs> I hope you don't feel like 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 any pressure. Because <laughs> I know if like if I was watching a streamer and they started playing my music in the background, I would just be like, I'd be terrified. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Um, if you. But I'm having a great time listening to your music generally. It's it's wonderful. Oh no, am I using the right colour? Oh no, I am, yeah. No, it's fine. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Um, okay. No. 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 Almost got sidetracked. Uh, that's something I am not ready for yet. Ah, come back. Okay. Um. Bloop. Bloop. Yeah, there we go. Because this is darker than that. It's another it's gonna be shadow layer. Which is pretty neat. Oh, is that it? Have we have we finished? Did we finish already? Oh my gosh. Yay! Wait, hang on. Rising sun. I might be of the disc. First disc. Let me check. There's two discs. Rising sun. Oh, why did it stop playing? Find a. Oh, maybe that was. Wow. Oh, let's repeat. Let's let's shuffle it this time. That is an awesome album. Um, by um Diwa de Leon, aka String Player Gamer. You should totally check that out. It's good stuff. Let's play it again. Uh, can I shuffle it? Yeah, let's shuffle it. Cool. Shuffle it this time. We'll play Rise of the Sun first. I was a bit out and dazed to your full details at the time, yeah. I don't blame you for that.
Okay, let's go with the the pearls. Okay. a bit more committal with the shading here. Okay, now let's go with the dress for a little bit. I love this bit, it reminds me of Castlevania, this, this little bit in the music. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's higher morphing and laughing ass. Oh no! <laughs> oh, bliss. <laughs> A nice needed dose of bliss after a broken ankle. Right, how are we doing for time? Oh, we've got... We've got half an hour... to... finish on up. Oh, we probably won't have this finished today, but... We'll have a good chunk of it done, at least. Which will be awesome. And I'm glad I'm glad a bunch of you are all here to enjoy enjoy the the, the fan art making and the stuff and the, the nice relaxing drawing time. <laughs> I don't want to go too 
too nuts with the... Uh, here we go, this way. Um, loving how it's coming along. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad this can help help soothe your stresses and <laughs> be a nice relaxing time for you guys. <laughs> and help relax you. It's like, like it's like morphine, but 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 not. <laughs> <laughs> Not in any way like Mordaint, you know? <laughs> just just being on a chill stream. Chill, quiet stream. Making artwork of Resident Evil characters. <laughs> character, this is probably the only Resident Evil character I will... I will draw for a while at least. Um, it is, but someone else, the entertainment, instead of you being hilarious to the nurses. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Do you, did anyone tell you what you were talking about? Were you talking about anything like interesting or bizarre? <laughs> Apparently, morphine can get you saying some, some funny, funny stuff. Um. Okay, we've certainly got a lot of tidying up to do, folks. We really do. Um... Okay, uh, this is gonna be the same. This is the same color as the hat. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So that's uh, smoothing out a bit. Whoops. Oh no, what just happened? Am I going mad? Oh, that was weird. Completely was like completely lost track of everything there. <laughs> that was really strange. Um, so then I remember nothing about it. But one of the nurses 
I was in Stitcher over something. <laughs> I was in Stitcher over something I said. Shame we can't be in Stitcher too because you can't remember. <laughs> I just remember having the gas for 14 slides and my foot was back in place. Bandaged up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, do you know, I, I'm i really glad that, actually in a way, you know, the nurses, the nurses are going through some horrible experiences right now with the COVID stuff. So like, you gave them a good, good hearty laugh. So in a way, it was almost like, it was almost, it was almost fate or destiny. <laughs> it was almost good that you, you broke your ankle. <laughs> I mean, obviously those nurses wouldn't be specifically dealing with the COVID stuff, I imagine, but like, I don't know if they would rotate or something, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm sure it gave them a nice, a nice good hearty laugh, um, I think they would have, they would have appreciated that. <laughs> Now to add some more detailing and tidy everything up. Uh, tidy it up as much as we can before the stream is over. Um, uh, it was good, even if you didn't mean to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the one thing I do remember there was those 12 nurse stuff because they were fascinated about what actually happens with my angle. Paramedics said it was broken and dislocated, and they were all fascinated. But because it was something different to COVID for once, yeah, true. <laughs> um, there were some nurses that literally just cleared med uh, school's exam when COVID hit, and they only dealt with that because it was such an emergency for the world. So they probably actually never dealt with anything else in their work time at the hospital. Yeah, nurses and doctors. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. Like, especially a lot of the nurses that are having to do placement work, like, like people who maybe be a silly education. Um, doing placements at hospitals as, as well, especially, like, not really been able to do much else. Poor things. Truly, I don't, I don't envy them at all. I really, I really hope they get the respect they, they deserve um, from the government someday. Someday, we hope. Ah, oh, 
Oh, I like this bit. I like this sort of tidying up and using the eyedropper to to find all the correct colours. I never did the brighter lip colour. Just a smidge. We might actually be able to. Oh, we've got 10 minutes left. <laughs> mm. And I would really like to come off at 7 because I'm starting to feel a bit sleepy. Oh, hello, everybody. One day. Yeah, yeah. one day, hopefully. <sighs> Claps don't pay nurses fair wages, my guys. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> um, yeah, I hope you're all staying safe and keeping sane throughout all this craziness. Um, I've certainly found Twitch to be extremely helpful throughout all of this. Um, that has been nice. Coming to you guys all, all here and finding a lovely little community online. Um, which I've really done before. So that's been, that's been real nice. Because um, I've been very lucky. In that, like, so for any of you who don't know, I finished a master's in computer animation last year. Excuse me, I'm hungry. My stomach is yelling at me. Um, I did a master's last year in computer animation. I finished in November because I got a three month extension due to the COVID stuff. And um, yeah, I since then have just been looking for work. Um, which has been hard. It's been very difficult. Um, but I've been extremely lucky in that uh, I haven't had to, you know, go anywhere, do any essential work. I pretty much all the work I do is can all be done at home, which is great, and I'm happy about that. Um, so yeah, I've been very fortunate in that I can stay home and just help do. My my bit by not going out the house unless I absolutely have to. And uh, yeah, it's been. And I've been isolating with my partner, which has been lovely. We've just. We've been great. <laughs> we get along like a house on fire. There's like never any issues. <laughs> um, which is awesome. I think I think it's because we we know when to each other amounts of space that's that's helpful you know um yeah hope you guys have been okay and coping all right with with everything i really do um oh always good uh, uh <laughs> thank you <laughs> thanks svg i appreciate that um yeah i'm hoping to find a job in in animation, I would love to work in film. Specifically, I'd like to work in film or on TV shows as an animator um, for a few years. That would be ideal. Um, and I've been quite lucky in that the animation industry hasn't been hit too hard by the pandemic. So there's still like, like, you know, so the job industry, the, the industry has always been really competitive. 
So it's like, it's not any more, any less compared than it was. It's still hard, but it's harder. So I've been quite lucky with that. Um, yeah. It's still, it's still, applying for jobs is still a very, very nerve-wracking process though, unfortunately. <sighs> but I'll get there. It'll be okay. We'll find a way. We will find a way. And the streaming has boosted confidence massively in such a huge way. Um, so that's going to help tremendously. Um, and I have you guys to thank for that, genuinely. Um, Disney Pixar? Uh, keep striving one day. Disney Pixar would be amazing. Disney or Pixar. I remember, like, when I was little, it was always, I want to work for Pixar. <laughs> I want to get a job after I leave uni. I want to go work for Pixar. Um, that was always the dream. Um, yeah. Something like Disney, Pixar, like Warner Brothers, like any of those places would be amazing. Um, and I've got to send out a few more jobs this week, I think. I haven't done. Uh, yeah, so uh, I enjoy doing 3D animation. I'm going to try and get into 2D animation as well, do a little bit of that on the side as well, because I think that would be really fun to try. Um, yeah. I particularly enjoy like character animation, like I enjoy doing face stuff and um, acting moments um, with, uh, with characters. Yeah. Sorry, that was, that was a big old ramble about, <laughs> about that, sorry guys. Um, yeah. What's some of you guys' dream job? If you guys could do anything in the world, like any job, what would you guys do and why? My dream job is a um, character and storyboard artist. Oh, an art director. That's my dream job. <laughs> At somewhere like Disney. What about you guys? One day, everything I find is just completely slowed down since COVID. Yeah. Uh, ramble away, lol. <laughs> Thank you. It'll happen, but it will take some time to get there. Yeah, it, it's gonna take a while, but we'll get there. We'll be alright. Probably be an audio engineer in some studio, or an in-house composer in a game studio. That would be so cool. Um, I've not had a dream job per se. Oh, okay. I never, really had a good, I never really had a goal in life except to do whatever was good at the time. That is, that is really cool. But if it's not music, probably be a digital artist. Oh, neat. That's cool. Nice. <laughs> um, oh, that's, that's really cool. Just, just go with the flow, do whatever feels right in the moment. I like that. I respect that a lot. No, I've always been quite a workaholic, career-driven type of person, and that hasn't always been the healthiest thing for me, so I completely respect, you know, not having a dream job as well as you know being an being an in-house composer sounds so would be so cool just imagine being like being, being like doing the i don't know like the the, the Bethesda the elder scrolls games um and that's your job forever that'd be so cool
Hey, you gotta go with the flow, exactly. I did kind of want to be some form of actress when I was younger, but I never really had the encouragement or momentum to get there. It sounds like a big struggle as well, anyways. Yeah, getting into acting sounds like a massive, a massive struggle. It's one of those things you've got to be really far up and passionate about to commit. The creative industry, the theatre, the film, all that stuff, it's, it's brutal. It's brutal, brutal stuff. But no, exactly. Go with the flow. See what comes up. Your your career and your jobs do not define you. Um, there's never there's never any. You know, I know there's a lot of external pressures. But there should never be any pressure to commit to you know a specific job or goal or you know. When I was at uni studying, so for my undergrad I did a degree called Digital Arts at the same university, University of Kent. Um, and I was, I, when I was growing up I wanted to be like, like an animator or a filmmaker. And I became quite discouraged um, when I was in my A-levels and during my undergrad degree. Um, because I kind of thought, oh I need to find something more realistic, like there's no way I'm going to be able to get into film. I don't have any like experience. I'm 18 years old and I was worried about experience. Yep. Um, <laughs> um, but then um, at the end of at the end of the undergrad I got so enticed I was so afraid of like going out and working like all the jobs I was looking at I just like I was just so frightened like of like not liking them and being miserable like, like I, I wasn't sure if I'd like, like any of these jobs I was looking at I didn't like the idea of anything. I felt like I'd feel so stuck. Um, and then the computer animation degree was just screaming at me and I'd done a little animation project for my final project. And I was like, oh, I really enjoyed doing that animation. I've always really enjoyed the animation modules and the three modeling modules. Like I, you know, why, why should I, why should I, you know, why should I stop myself just because it might be a bit harder to get into the industry, like, why should I settle for something I don't like and it's not right for me because I'm worried that it's unrealistic. Um, so I went ahead and did the computer animation degree and I'm really glad I did. I, I just, I'm having so much more fun with the stuff I do now <laughs> um, than I probably would have if I'd gotten like a proper job at the end of uni. You know? I hope that made sense. <laughs> I'm just rambling away. <laughs> yeah, follow your dreams, kids. <laughs> follow your dreams. Don't your dreams be dreams. Just do it. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Right. Um... What is scary for an 18 year old? What is scary for an 18 year old? Uh, when I was applying for IT roles at companies everywhere I wanted to experience at least five years, there was no one willing to give the experience. Yeah, it was a bit BS really when they could do stuff like that. Yeah, it's so frustrating. So many places. You see that in IT so much, like especially. Just this desperate for like just not wanting to train anyone and it's like guys you're gonna run out of people <laughs> eventually like train some newbies darn it give people experience be willing to um be willing to give people experience it's it's hard enough out Yeah, I teach. I mean, I mean, I remember um, when was it Python? It was 
It's either Python or Java, I always do. And I remember someone tweeting about how it was this viral tweet about this job that they'd applied to. And they literally were asking for like, like five years of Java experience and Java had only been out for two years. Like, like this happens all the time. Like I saw tweets recently ago, like a particular IT job would want like experience in software, but the software package itself would be out for less, right? Yeah, how ridiculous is that? Like so many places do that. It's like, know what you're asking, guys. Like, <laughs> don't ask for five years of experience when something that's only been out for two years. <laughs> it's just insane. It's just insanity, honestly. Do though, like, how? <sighs> Why are they making education so much more expensive, but unwilling to actually hire <laughs> any graduates? Why? Oh well. I'm sure that there's something. I'm sure there'll be something out there. For me, someday. Possibly, maybe, who knows? Oh my gosh, I got so caught up with the time. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it's what put me off the IT path, but there are ways around it. Oh, totally. There's always ways. A lot of times, um, places, like, you should just go for it, even if the experience is, isn't what you've got. Like, sometimes it's just a set tactic. Um, so, even if, like, you don't quite have it. You just go for it anyway. It feels right. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. I've just noticed the time. I've got to go. I've got to go make tea. Um, thank you all so much. Oh, that was another stretch from Neosis. Thank you. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, if you're still here, and um, I hope you will have a lovely lovely evening um thank you thanks you red punks i'm i no don't worry you're always there's no need to apologize um i love it when people lurk you can just hang out and chill you don't have to engage it's all fine um that's what these ones are for um so i'm gonna finish lady Dim dimitri oh my gosh what's her name Lady um. Oh my gosh, hang on a sec. Let before I go, I'm just gonna find out what the name is. Do come on, you gotta tell me. Oh Dimi Dimitrescu or something. <laughs> I'm sure I butchered that. Yeah, see so Soon. Thank you so much. Yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, I'll see you in the next one where we'll finish up. See you all very soon. Bye!